Oh, yes, lad. Go on, get some food in me gob. We're on a road trip from South Carolina to New York City. And today, instead of heading north to Washington, we've taken a 230 mile detour to the east to the Outer Banks for three reasons. The first one, we want to trace the history of the Lost Roanoke Colony. We want to visit Kill Devil Hills, where the Wright brothers had their first successful flight in 1903. And we want to hear the Brogue dialect, which is very unique here to the Outer Banks. It sounds half American and half English. But before we do that, let's get some food because I'm absolutely starving, Marvin. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what have we got here? Grape jelly, whipped butter, milk, marmalade. Ooh. You don't have any drink today. Can I have a coffee, please? Sure. Can I have a uh, glass of water and a sweet tea, please? Sure. All right, let's take a look at the menu. Mm -hmm. oh, sandwiches. So the barbecue sandwiches, pit cooked, chopped and seasoned like grandpa would do it, served on a grilled bun. I'll make pancakes. <gasps> and I get pancakes with bacon. I'm so hungry, I'm starting to feel dizzy. What are we going to get, lad? I'm torn between the barbecue sandwich and the pancakes with bacon. Can I get a barbecue sandwich? Can I have pancakes with bacon, please? Thank you. Do you know where we can hear people that have got the broke dialect? There was somebody in here, what was it, last weekend? I think she said she was from England. And she was part Scandinavian, too. So she said she could do like three different languages. I was going, oh, that's pretty cool. Was she looking for the, the people with the dialect? Yes, yeah, she was. Okay. I said, I love your accent. Thank you very much. So we're here on Manteo, which is Roanoke Island, where the colony first landed. It's an English colony that were here to settle North America. And they landed here, but they disappeared. But we're thinking people with the dialects might be around this area. And here's Kitty Hawk, where the Wright brothers first flew. Might be going like, you know, there's Zeus Island over here. Up here, yeah. But we'll, we'll I don't ask. really know what, what the deal is. See, it goes all the way like this. Mm. Like, these are probably smaller little towns here. Too. Got some nice fluffy pancakes, some chips. Ooh, that looks really delicious. The and sauce. some bacon. Ooh, and some barbecue sauce. Nice. I like them, they were nice lasses. When we were driving to find this place, we saw a sign that said Lost Colony that way. So we're gonna head there and learn a bit about the Lost Colony. Then we'll head up to the outer banks like Sandbank and head to the memorial of the Wright brothers. And during all of this, we're gonna keep trying to find people with the Brogue dialect. Can I have a toothpick, lad? Cheers, lad. We're following this sign to the lost colony and there's the shape of Roanoke Island. <laughs> Yippee! Hello. Good, thank you. Okay. I've come to learn about the colony and the history, but I'm too late to join the tour because it's already gone and I want to make a video about the history. There were three voyages. Okay. 1584 they sent explorers. Yeah. 1585, they sent military okay. to build the fort. And then 1587 is when the colonists came. Okay, and then some of the colonists went back to England and others came to kind of build it up? So the first two, they came and went back. Yeah. The third one where the 117 people came, the only person that went back was John White. And we don't know what happened to the other. But when they came back, there was Croaton written. Was that like on a tree or in stone? Uh, on a tree, see? Oh, like this. What do they think is this? Do they think it's they joined the natives, like the Croaton natives, or they or they were killed by the Croaton? That's where the speculation is. That's why it's is. a mystery. Okay. Hatteras, at that time, was known as Croatoan. 
Croatan. Yeah. There were records of gray-eyed Native Americans there. So the only way that they could have gotten gray eyes is if they have DNA from somebody else, right? Mm. So they think they assimilated and joined them? Some of them, yes. Okay. This is my mate Brad that I'm traveling with. Hi. He's a good lad. So this is the name, so Croton is the name of this island. At that time. At that time. Right now it's Hatteras. And when they found the engraving that was on this island? Yep, where we are now. Okay, so there's a something connection with this and that, but they don't mm -hmm. know what it is, like what happened. On the first voyage, they, the English met uh, Manio, who was an Algonquin Indian, uh -huh. and he befriended them. He went, actually he went on three voyages to England. When he came back in 1587, mm -hmm. he was wearing English clothes, he was baptized, so he had invited people to come down there mm -hmm. with him, but whether they did or didn't, because nothing was ever found. Here's my theory. The Indian went here to England and got baptized, and dressed as an English person, and then came back here, took the colonizers down south, and when he took them there, all the other Indians were disgraced and annoyed that he'd been changed by the English people, so they killed them all. Oh. But some survived, bred with them, and that's why they have the grey eyes. They should put that theory on Wikipedia. What do you think? It's a possibility. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I appreciate your information. Sure. Very good, thank you. I'm going to go and read the boards with my friend Brad. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I think we're going to find anyone, mate. I'm very optimistic, we're swapping so I can drive and then if I see someone we're going to go up and say excuse me sir, do you know uh, where I can find the Brogue dialect? Right. We can do this mate. Optimism. The lad that works at the souvenir shop, he's a local here and we asked him where's the best place to find locals that might have the Brogue dialect and he said go down to Wanchi's. So we went to a place called O'Neill's Bar but it was shut. And we've just been driving down the road and we've seen a few lads here hanging out on their driveway. So I'm going to walk up and ask if they know of anybody around here that's got the dialect. I've just come from England. I was just trying to find somebody with the, um, the dialect, the local dialect. The Hoi Thai dialect. Hoi Thai? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happens on the fucking sounds right there, but... Can you speak a high Thai dialect? <laughs> no. Uh, it, 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 that's pretty much gone. <laughs> okay. That was all them guys that with the high tiders. High tide. It's all disappeared side. now. They had that had that dialect. Yeah. Hold you on, know, now. I'm native here now. I, I know, know what a damn high tide is now. You know what he's talking about? He's talking about a high tider. That's what. You, that's what he's but, saying. Um, hmm. Because it, it sounds very similar to like Scottish and Irish yeah. English where I'm yeah. from. It mm -hmm. does. Yeah, it sounds, right. so like right. I've come here with traveling from South Carolina up north to New York City. And I wanted to come here to the Outer Banks to try and find somebody that still had the dialect. And it's proving very difficult. The, uh, the, uh, the high tide, the, yeah. That, go, that's... Go, go see Carolinian. Carolinian? Carolinian. He's one of the last ones to me. Carolyn. Oh, damn. Uh, homie's brother. Where could I find him? Tony so, Tillett. Tony Tillett. So Mikey it's... Daniels. Yeah, you got Mikey Daniels. That, that cry. Yeah, yeah, all them yeah. Dan all them Daniel boys down there, they yeah. got that they got that accent. No, that yeah. Native, yeah. Yeah. Native accent. You wanna look you wanna still look feel look... right. Yeah, yeah. There is it. Oh, Daniels and Tillett. Daniels and Tillett. Yeah, um, what what street would I find them on? Oh hell I couldn't tell you. On the sun, they most, most likely they're sitting back in the recliner, relaxing. Yeah, on the porch. Yeah, on the porch. Yeah. yeah. The only activity I knew of today would probably be you might see somebody around the fish house. You get down to the fishing village? Yeah, we went down to um, O'Neill's, uh -huh. but it was closed. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, did you go out back where the, the fish house is? No. But they're bringing in tuna now and all that mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, yeah you, you need to go to the back docks where, where they're unloading. Yeah, you, you need to go to the back docks where where they're unloading. Okay, right, yeah. you speak to them guys there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got yeah, some of them boys. They they 
They can use some slang too now. Yeah. Do any of you guys know any of the slang? <laughs> Not really. Okay. I just, I've just seen it. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, 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 I know a lot of slang, but I don't think you want to hear it. <laughs> Maybe I do want to hear it. <laughs> you, know, you, you remember old Herb? Used to oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Herb, yeah. Old uh, yeah. Herb, he, he, he spoke the hell. It, was, it, it almost sounded Scottish. I'm originally from Yeah, yeah. I'm from, I, I know exactly what I'm from, I'm from Collington. Have you been to Collington? Uh, no, not yet. Right, brother? I know oh, we're going to go there later to the uh, dunes. I was, I was born back in that little village. Okay. We're yeah, going to go to Kill, island, Kill Devil. There's, there's two islands back in there. Yep. Two bridges. Yeah, I was, I was in between. Point on the mainland. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was, I was in between. Point on the mainland. Okay. So the best place to go is behind O'Neill's. Yeah. To the fishing. Yeah. yeah. Go around the fish houses. Yeah, and see where the boys are unloading at. You can probably get some of it there. Okay. Yes, sir. But the, okay, so go down behind O'Neill's. Yep. Yeah. That'd probably be a start there. Right there. Yep. I mean, it's mm -hmm. Sunday. I mean, money you get out. A lot of people be moving around more at this house. Yeah, Sundays you, not much, too much activity, but you know, there's still people out and about. Okay. I'll head down there now, my friend. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I sir. appreciate you guys. Yes, no, no, no. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're, you're See you later. Yeah. Thank you. So we just went down to O'Neill's bar and behind there we did see some guys with their trucks in uh, like a warehouse. So we'll head back down there and see if they're speaking the bro dialect. I feel like an investigative journalist trying to find this dialect. This is fun. You can hear that gunshot in the background. We're getting closer and closer, mate. Those lads, they said, do you know where O'Neill's is? Behind there, they should be pulling tuna out of the sea now. So we should go ask them. Hello. How are you? You all right? I came here to go to the uh, O'Neill's restaurant. Obviously, it's closed. Yeah. I'm from England. I'm trying to find people that have got the high Thai dialect. So I want to capture it before it dies out. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I spoke to some guys just up the road and they said the best place would to come would be down here. Right, right. Yeah, and here. Why is it called Oi Toy? Because that's how you say Oi Toy. Oh, okay, okay. And that's where you got Oi Because like in England, people from like Wales, like the western part of the United Kingdom, would say it like that, like Oi Toy. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially from like Liverpool, like the west coast of the UK. Would pronounce it like that, like oi toy. Yeah. When I go to the west coast, they think I'm from uh, Australia or England. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a little bit of an accent. Yeah, yeah. So you were born here? Ah, uh, well, no. I was here. Outer here. Banks. Yeah. In Outer Banks. A little yeah. farther south, down like. We're down where Hoi Toi really originated. Ah, uh, him. What? What? Well, this is Wanchi. Wanchi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're down in Atlantic Beach. Cedar Island. <laughs> Cedar Island, the other end of all this. Like, so you come from here, you go down to Hatteras. Yep. You get Hatteras Village, and you take a ferry, go over to Oh, so you have to take a ferry there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there any way we could drive to find yeah. it? Yeah. You can go Not around. Not to Ocracoke. Okay. No, no. But, but you can drive down to where we are, going around and coming back up. And it's Beaufort and Cedar Island and all that. They call it Down East. Down East. Down East. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's where the heavy road is. I, uh, can you show me on your phone on the map? Because I don't have any data on my, my phone to see where it is. Yeah, yeah. But sir, you sound like you have a bit of the high tide. Yeah. A tiny bit. Uh, I've hung out just enough. You catch a little bit. The yeah, more yeah. you hang out with, with them, sir. you you start doing it. You yeah. know, it picks right up. Yeah. Sorry, am I in your way there? No, no, you're fine. It's like certain words too. Yeah, yeah. Like, like slang. Like what? Like lots of slang words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I thought I was deaf for the first couple of years I moved down here because I couldn't understand the word they said. Yeah. <laughs> I said, are you deaf, boy? <laughs> you know, if you talk English, I might be able to understand you. <laughs> I appreciate your help, guys. Yeah, no problem. No problem. None at all. So you, you are here catching tuna? Yeah, yeah. We're, I'm a, we're processing it in here. So right now, this is where we're at. Yeah. If you were to drive across the bridge right here, mm -hmm. Come all the way down the island. You go down, all the way down here to Hatteras. So go go all the way down there. But that's where you get on the ferry at. Okay. And then you cross the ferry right here. See the there's mm, the yeah. And then that take you over to Oak Code. 
but that's very secluded there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that near the Croatan? Well, see, this is where we're from, the Croatan. Oh, that's the Croatan. The Croatan's yeah. down here. See, when you come in from the Ocracoke Ferry, you come right here to Cedar Island. Yep. And that's, this is all this area right here, that's where the Brogue is the heaviest. That's all okay. that area. Yeah, that's like Atlantic, and then you got sea level, and uh, Harker's Island. You know, a lot of people in this general area are have relations from down way down the line yeah. because of our great 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 grandparents all lived on this island you know and everybody yeah. kind of split up and went their different ways but there was a spot here in moorhead city called the promised land and it was the yeah. promised land from yeah. the government that they could have when they moved over from shackford banks you know so it's pretty cool history yeah it's really cool because we just went up to the uh, national park to learn about the lost colony oh know? yeah yeah and well, then I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that's right. most of the names in our county are from the Lost Colony. Yeah, yeah they that's Carteret match Carteret up county. because they, yeah, Carteret yeah, yeah. County, they all migrated, that's what they think, down into our county. Yeah. And down, and that's where you get a lot of the same names that are on the manifest from Lost Colony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Brogue is real heavy. Yeah. yeah, that's like, you hear yeah. it more down there than you up here, you know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because our friend, he's a, he does U.S. history, and he came here for a research trip for one week, uh -huh. and he said we should come to the Outer Banks. We want to hear it. Yeah. So we come here for three things: uh, learn about the Lost Colony, hear the dialect, and then go to uh, Kill Devil Hills. Yeah. Well, KDH is up the way a little bit this way. Yeah, we're going to go back up there later. Or we might right. go tomorrow morning. Gotcha. But today we want because someone said it'd be really hard to find a dialect. But I think I've heard it a little bit in you. Yeah. Which I I'm pleased bit. about. Yeah. yeah. But we'd have to travel either get the ferry or drive for three hours yeah. yeah okay and it's not a bad drive it's, yeah it's, it's not. pretty it much takes you to like plymouth way. and williamston yeah. and washington and but we're limited on time because we're doing a road trip up to new york city on the east coast yeah, and we left durham this morning we were supposed to go to washington but we've taken a detour just to come here oh wow and then tomorrow morning we're gonna wake up early and then head to washington so unfortunately gotcha. we don't have enough time to go there right right but it's good to know that because yeah, it, it would be cool to hear it, but it's good to know that it's still alive and people oh, are still sure. speaking it. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, now you probably you could probably hear it down at Hatteras if you drove down to the end, down to yeah. Buxton. Well, yeah, we'll do that now to Hatteras. And that, there's a lot of roads there too. Okay. The outer banks but down there. you don't really hear it a whole lot, other than these like farther down where we're from down that way, yep. Carteret County. Okay. That's like pretty much that and like Ocracoke and everything like that. That's about where it really originated. Yeah. All right. You know, but I really appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Man. It was good to learn some history about awesome. the area. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. All right. I hope, I hope Cheers. You find everything yeah. you need. Thank you. Yeah, Cheers, you guys. Know. Every time we speak to someone, we're getting one step closer. One of the guys had a little bit of a high tide accent, mate, and they said the best place to go is down to Hatters. So we've got like two hours left until the sun sets. Hour and 47 minutes. Two hours to get there. Yeah, because you have to go there and yeah. then drive all the way down. And I don't think we'd have enough time to go tomorrow morning if we need to get to Washington. Oh, yeah, this is pretty, that's pretty far away. Isn't yeah. It? How about we go and see uh, Kill Devil Hill? Yeah. So we're going to go to Kill Devil Hills now. We've still got two hours, so we'll go and check some of the history of the Wright brothers. Right, vamos laddie. Oh man, that was cool. They were really friendly lads. Per person. Ten dollars per person. It looks like there's nothing here. We're at the Wright Brothers National Mon Memorial. Yeah, I say we turn around. Yeah. Hello, we'd like to turn around, please. Okay. Go to the brown sign, take two lefts. Brown sign, two lefts. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Pay for you. There's nothing here. Oh, do we really turn around? Let's get out and run around. I guess that's the hill that they... Ah. Okay, well, we can see it. There's the hill where the Wright brothers flew from, I guess. I would assume so. That's where the memorial We would assume... Oh, God. <laughs> trying to film and drive a car. All right, there's the memorial. That's where the Wright brothers first took flight in December of 1903. We don't really need to walk up there, do we? we can, I'm happy to see this from the car. Yeah. I don't need to pay $10 to yeah, walk up there. $10. If you come here and pay $10 per person, you are a sucker. There it is. Boom. Hi, babe. Can I get a large pepperoni pizza for $6.79, please? Yeah. 
Look at that. Wow, that looks good. So I didn't know this concept. In America, you go to Little Caesars. It used to be $5, Brad said, but you pay the money, it was six seventy nine plus tax, so seven thirty. I can't remember what he said, but and you get a full pizza, it's just there ready to eat right away. That's amazing. Look at this. Big deep dish pizza. Mmm. Oh, good. Hot, but good. Okay, you want to So, Brad's on the phone to his mate Bradley, who lives in Washington. And instead of driving there in the morning, we're thinking of just driving there tonight and saving time and money. Because it's half four and it's starting to get dark already. We've seen the memorial to the Wright brothers. All you have to do is drive past, save yourself. We saved ourselves $20. We heard a little bit of the high tide accent and we learned a lot about the lost colony. That has been a great day. It's been short. We've been here for four and a half hours, but it's been great. What's he saying? Uh, he said it should be fine, we're just gonna, he's just going to ask the police show Okay, cool. I give the pizza 7.3. I asked Daddy one time, I remember when I was young, I said, Daddy, what is Charlie call that crowd Woods? That was his daddy. He said, well, that's somebody from the inland, not from the, not from the, you know, the, the, the banks and around the water. And that's why the old folks used to call them Woodsers. We're going to leave Kill Devil Hills now and head up to Washington DC. It's about a five hour drive. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button.